Have you ever planned a backpacking trip? Yes, I actually organized a solo backpacking adventure across Southeast Asia. It was a journey of self discovery and cultural exploration. That sounds amazing. I'm considering a similar trip. Did you face any challenges during your journey? Absolutely. Language barriers were quite challenging in some remote areas. I had to rely on hand gestures and basic phrases to communicate. Are you interested in scientific discoveries? Absolutely. I'm fascinated by space exploration. Learning about distant galaxies and black holes is mind boggling. That's intriguing. I'm more into biology and genetics. Understanding the complexity of life on a cellular level is truly remarkable. I can see that. I'm particularly captivated by quantum physics and its implications for our understanding of reality. Have you traveled to foreign countries? Yes, I've had the opportunity to live in Japan for a year. Immersing myself in the culture and language was a transformative experience. That's interesting. I'm more into global cuisine. Trying different foods from around the world is like a culinary journey. I can understand that. I'm particularly drawn to indigenous cultures and their traditional practices. Do you enjoy reading classic literature? Absolutely. I'm a fan of Victorian novels. The intricate plots and detailed character development are enthralling. That's intriguing. I'm more into modern fiction. Exploring contemporary issues through literature provides insights into our society. I can see that. I'm particularly captivated by magical realism and how it blurs the line between reality and fantasy. Have you ever learned a difficult language? Yes, I actually studied Mandarin for a year. The tones and characters made it challenging, but it was rewarding. That's impressive. I'm more into learning sign language. It's a way to communicate with the deaf community and promote inclusivity. I can see that. I'm particularly interested in endangered languages and their preservation efforts.
Are you inspired by visual arts? Absolutely. I'm drawn to impressionist paintings. The play of light and color creates a sense of movement and emotion. That's intriguing. I'm more into street art. The urban landscape becomes a canvas for self expression and social commentary. I can see that. I'm particularly captivated by surrealism and its exploration of dreams and the subconscious. Do you ever wonder about the universe? Absolutely. I'm intrigued by quantum physics. The behavior of particles at the subatomic level defies conventional logic. That's fascinating. I'm more into environmental science. Understanding ecosystems and the impact of human activity is crucial. I can see that. I'm particularly captivated by astronomy and the mysteries of black holes and dark matter. Do you enjoy experimenting in the kitchen? Absolutely. I like fusion cooking. Mixing flavors from different cuisines creates unique and delightful dishes. That's intriguing. I'm more into baking. The precision and chemistry behind pastries and bread making fascinate me. I can see that. I'm particularly captivated by molecular gastronomy and its innovative techniques. Are you conscious of your ecological footprint? Absolutely. I practice sustainable living. Reducing waste and minimizing consumption are important to me. That's commendable. I'm more into conservation efforts. Protecting endangered species and habitats is crucial for biodiversity. I can see that. I'm particularly captivated by renewable energy sources and their potential to mitigate climate change. Do you have any creative hobbies? I enjoy digital art. Creating illustrations on a tablet allows for endless possibilities and experimentation. That's intriguing. I'm more into woodworking. Crafting functional and artistic pieces from raw materials is satisfying. I can see that. I'm particularly captivated by pottery and its tactile nature.